What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Buffalo Sabres. We're picking up where we left off here. 9-16 and 2. The tank is on here in Buffalo and there's not too much we can do about it. Locker room chemistry is in the toilet. Team isn't performing well. And uh, I went to look into our contracts here to see if there's anyone I could lock back in. Now, we got, I, uh, sorry, Skinner here, who does not want an extension. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. We're going to stop uh, at the deadline here. Do we trade Skinner for something? Or do we try to sign him and spend a little extra money? Now, to consider that, that's not too bad. We can get him like by to a 5 by 7 deal or something like that. Take him up until he's 31. We could probably do that. If you cranked it up, because he doesn't want the extension, you'd have to offer him more. We could probably get him to a 5 by 7 deal. So, would you guys like to do that? Do you think he could serve a purpose onto this team uh, in the future as we, you know, get some prospects and they start coming into the NHL? Do you think this guy could serve as a good, you know, veteran scoring presence? Or... Should we dish him for an asset? I won't, that's that's the first thing I definitely want to hear from you guys. Now, when it comes to Ocpozo, I agree. We need to get this contract out of Buffalo. The problem is we can't do that yet. There's there's really, I don't think there's many teams that would want to take it on. Um, I again, we could try it when we get to the deadline. But for right now, I think I think I'm gonna want to hold on to him for at least most of this year to try to help out um, our other players. Cause well, of course he's not. You know, he's not getting that many points right now. I think putting him onto that first line might help him get a few more points, help out Eichel at least, give him another goal score to work with. So that's kind of what we're going to try here. And again, the f what is that? One, two, three, four, five years left on that deal. Five, oh my God. Five years left at six mil. That's kind of a lot there for Ocozo. And that, as an 83 it's going to be pretty hard to find a team that will be interested in taking that on. Paul Midville wants an extension. I don't know if we're going to extend him. Uh, he doesn't want that much. So, depends on his decline, but I think he'll decline. Maybe he's a guy we dish off at the deadline too. So, I'm going to definitely want your guys' uh, opinions on that. If we want to dish some of these guys off at the deadline, McCabe doesn't want to come back. He's kind of decent defensively, like... I probably will be a guy I want back. Plus, he's a uh, we can tender him. And Gergensen's former 14th overall pick who never panned out to be anything, looking like a uh, third liner there. He might get a bit better. I mean, looking more like a fourth liner in the future. He might get a bit better, but I don't know. Uh, apparently, we can't extend Olmark or anything like that. So I was checking that out to see. Uh, what the plan of action would be and I definitely uh, wanted to uh, address that in the beginning of the video so you guys can start thinking about it as we're simming here and then when we get to the deadline when we start maybe thinking about seriously trading some more pieces you guys can uh, give your uh, full uh, opinions on that and things like that sorry I just had a weird like brain fart I just had pause for a second <laughs> okay so I think let's we continue here now. Yep. And uh, just keep simming month by month here. And taking take a look at oh. What is that? No, that's no. <laughs> Kinda seems like a terrible deal right there. Scott Wilson's my depth guy. <laughs> Alright, Central Scouting has released yet another report here. Let's check it out. My scouts are sort of going to work. They're doing okay right now. Could use a bit more scouted. Any lows? Eh, getting there. I don't have the strongest of scouts yet. They're working on it. All right. We had two losses there in a row. And then we... Or, sorry. Two wins in a row. Then we came back with a loss. Then we won again. It's a lot of goals. Well... <laughs> That's just a lot of goals. Not all of them are for us in that stretch. So, yeah, still some back and forth. But we are kind of slow, slightly improving here. Which just, I think, just means that our team's performing better. There's a loss with three goals in it. That's pretty good. Interesting. That's not a bad month for us. We got two 
Hickey. No, I really don't want Hickey. He doesn't fit into my long-term plans here. Okay, so... That was kind of a decent month. We had some big wins in here where we scored a lot, but we also had a lot of losses. That was kind of a fit 500 month. And a 16, 22, and 2. Yeah. Not the greatest. But Jack Eichel's almost up to point a game here. Having to be a bit of a goal scorer here. Locker room chemistry has jumped up to 62. Not too bad, and I will check out just some of our, uh, I don't really care about too much, I just want to see what our goal, yeah, goals four has gone up 2.55, so that's pretty good, it's kind of what we're looking for here, to be able to score a lot, I don't really care about keeping the puck out, yeah, Jeff Skinner, 34 points, Eichel, 39, Reinhardt's got 25, Ocpozo's got 21, 8 goals, 13 assists, he's gotten better on that line, Dolan, yeah, not getting too much there. And our young guys, middle stat, yeah, 13 points. <laughs> hmm. Not quite working. I'm worried about him not getting enough points. But he's liking his ice time, and he's actually liking his performance. So I don't think he'll get statistical minuses. I'm hoping he grows. I think he should. So I guess I'll just leave him there since he seems to be happy with everything. Yeah. Of course, I'd like a bit more production, but what can you do? Oof. That's not good. Neither goaltender is doing very good. Sort of expected. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty expected there. All right. Well, that might be the story of this year. I mean, I'm not expecting much out of the goaltenders, to be honest. I, mean, I was hoping maybe Olmark would be just a really good backup. Oh my goodness, Reinhardt has grown there. I like that. It's very good for us. 91 awareness, eight, all right, still 89 passing, but still good good stuff. And Don, I think that's the same amount of growth he, got la uh, he was at last time. I'm not too sure. Oh, excuse me, but he is growing, and that's what is important. In our system here. Oh, yeah. One thing that I was reminded of. A bit unfortunate. Uh, Samuelson was actually the second round pick. That's my bad. I When I was reading in Elite Prospects, I thought it said third round, which is why I made him that top six. So I do apologize for that. I just That's just my mess up. I misread it. So thanks for pointing that out. And, uh, again, I am I'm sorry that his potential's pretty much wrong for what he is but uh yeah <laughs> i was bound to make at least one mistake in there for how much i tried to do in that short amount of time so hopefully it's not too much of a you know negative effect on this series and we'll be able to pick up a lot of elite defensemen along the road anyway where even like a lot of our top four guys will be pretty irrelevant that's not to say that i'm happy with getting that wrong i don't like to get things wrong but <laughs> there you go it shouldn't be too bad for us Okay, so prospects are growing well. Team is still tanking. We're starting to get a bit more production. That's kind of what we want to see. Losing games, but getting some decent production. Hopefully Eichel gets a lot of growth. See, that's a good game. Losing, but we get three goals in that game. Oh, another good one. We lose. We get a point out of it, but we got four goals. Uh, Sabotka fully healed. I'm pretty sure he wasn't out or anything. I think that was just a minor. Yeah, he's just... Just did that. Palmerville. Ugh. No one's really getting points. Yeah, I got him on the top power play unit, but... Okay, he's got... <laughs> Jesus. That second line just can't score. I almost might as well try a middle stat there for a bit. Just because he's slightly better. His awareness and passing went up by one. He's also, oh, he's actually listed as a third line. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll keep him there because he's actually listed as a third liner now. So he should actually grow more efficiently. Okay. All right, lost right there. No three goals, but they only got three goals for them. So <laughs> not too upset with it. Oof. 
Shut out by the Oilers. You know something's wrong when you get shut out by the Oilers. The game against Calgary was good. Three goals against with the L. But uh, this is... Uh, we're dropping down here. We're dropping down. Alrighty. But here we go. Things are starting to get more scouted. This guy could be a second round hole. Oh. Pin that guy. I don't know if that'll affect it, but we got this Severson guy scouting him. High, maybe, well, it might be a high top four, but either way, you want to check that out. It could also be a high, but it's a high something. I've never seen the potential, the, the high, medium, or low actually change. I've only seen the uh, potential itself change, like elite and stuff like that. So, you, I, you don't want to miss out on this. Whatever the hell this guy is. This is not something you want to miss out on. No, sir. Pin the hell out of that guy. All right, so we got all these elites here. Um, that's a goalie, guaranteed elite hybrid goaltender. Listed as a gem. Good stuff right there. That could be solid. How about the lows? Anything? There we go. We got one fully scouted. Uh, roll off defensive defenseman. A right-handed shot. That's Yeah, that is a gem in itself. Very hard to find some of those guys. Uh, another left-handed shot. Offensive defenseman who isn't guaranteed to be a low elite yet. This Thorn guy. Look at him go. Doing a good job. But it's got a very good chance to be elite. Hasn't faced the strongest competition. Doesn't really produce. So that's interesting. Good personality at least. So that's good. Very interesting. Alright. Hopefully our scouts will continue to put in some good work there. Alrighty. Come on now, Buffalo. Whoa. Two wins right there in a row. Look at us go. And 19, 28, and 3. That was like our only wins of the freaking month besides that one. <laughs> we're still doing pretty bad here. Which is fine. Alright, so we're actually not even bottom in our division. Well, we do have Detroit and Ottawa in our division. So that makes a little bit of sense. But uh, we're still tanking pretty. Oh my god, this division's horrible. Oh, never mind. I, I totally misread that. I was looking at the points of uh, Florida and Montreal for some reason. I thought we had 51. And then I looked at the records. I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. It's very early. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. What can I say? Okay. What else is going on here? So goals four slid back down. That power play percentage is still god awful. I don't know how to make that better. Again, I think it's just we're lacking the goal scoring. We really are. All the special teams are bad. We're a bad team, so it makes sense, but kind of maybe wanted that power play to be doing good. Yeah, I don't know how I could trade Skinner right now. I think we could probably get away with giving him that 7 mil by 5 and could work out, but I don't know. I'll leave that up to you guys, Akpozo. We drop off after that, though. Eichel Skinner. Trying to get Pozo in there so he has a guy. But I might as well kind of like move Reinhardt. Yep, my, Reinhardt's an 86 now. So it makes more sense to move Reinhardt back up. Because more another playmaker. Sort of. Eichel's still sticking with that goal scorer thing. Pozo didn't really become a goal scorer on that line. Like we intended with him. So might as well move Reinhardt back up there, honestly. It makes a lot more sense. Jesus, he's only got three freaking points. I should put him on... Uh, excuse me, on the point. Switch in with Reinhardt on the power play. Maybe that'll improve something. Because it doesn't make much sense keeping him where he is. Not at all. Middle stat was still way the hell down here with only 16 points. Still, he has gotten better. Not by much, but he has gotten better. It's just his offensive stats. They were both at 85s. Oof, Olmark. Played a lot of games, but... Not too good. Again, our defense is pretty bad, but hey. Dolan, not even on pace for 40. But as he improves, so should his production. We, well, theoretically. I don't know. <laughs> theoretically, that should be the thing, but I seem to struggle a lot with uh, getting offensive defensemen to produce. 
At least in this game. All right, so yes, indeed. Reinhardt jumped up to an 86. Middle stat did grow, so look at that. Little, slowly but surely. He's got a little bit here and there. I think I should keep playing him in his role. Maybe I should bump him up because he seemed to grow more above a role. Ooh, Ristolainen did grow too. That's really important for us. We need him to... We want well. He is listed as a top two, but I don't. I think that could change the better our team gets. So honestly, I want to get him up to like 89 overall. I think that'd be fair. I think he has a chance to get that too. If he's growing this year, he could get a jump. Dolan still the same amount of growth there. Thompson's got a little bit. Eichel's got a slight amount to his wrist shot and slap shot accuracy. Still need more. Not bad though. All right, so Lukanen up to a 69. Nice. Growing pretty damn well. Nylander at 75. He's got a bit of a natural and morale. Morale doesn't show up on this number, though, so that's eight different stats getting some natural growth. Here is this ghoul guy listed as depth. Good stuff. All right, I'm not going to use him as depth yet. I'd probably just keep him in the uh, the AHL. Yep. All right, well, we got some growth here and there. We don't have too many, obviously, top prospects here, so we're not going to see outstanding amounts of growth. You would like, you would have liked to see a lot more of these top nine guys get some uh, jumps in here. But uh, not the case right now. Wow, we have so many top six defensemen. Sorry, Samuelson. Uh <laughs> All right, continuing here, we'll be getting up to the deadline then, and that, then we'll really kind of reassess. Oh, wait, 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 I need to do line changes. What am I doing? I had said two things I was going to do. So obviously, Reinhardt needs to go back up onto that top line. Boom. And should I try middle stat? I'm going to try middle stat on the second. Get out. I'm going to try him on the second line for a bit with Palmerville and Ocpozo. Just going to try it, just because he did, well, he grew well above his role earlier. We'll see if he could do the same here. Put him with, uh, let's see, righty, perfect. There we go. You know what, let's get these guys on their one times, too. Yeah, we'll keep the uh, second unit the same. We could even get Ocposo off here and get Ristolainen in there. How many shots does Ocposo take? One twenty. Mm, takes a decent chunk. Yeah, it takes a decent chunk. Well, we'll leave him there. I was hoping uh, in the back of my mind to try to get this guy's stat growth. That is definitely not happening this year. <laughs> but yeah, let's try middle stat on the second line. Just if not, at least for this little stretch here before the trade deadline. And Reinhardt obviously needs to be on first line because he's listed as such now. So boom. Good stuff here. Let's see, Buffalo, what he got for us. That's an early deadline. Yeah. Okay. Way in February, but this is the real deadline of this year, so. All right. All right. That's unfortunate. March 13th when he'll be back. He's going to miss some time. And that is very unfortunate. We got an enforcer though. No, no fear. Never fear. Oh, he's terrible. Do I have anyone with? Well, yeah. What the hell was it? What? How the hell? Oh my god! Oh fucking hell! I remember what happened now. <laughs> oh my goodness! I forgot when I uh, after I did the rosters, I reset the actual franchise mode. Terp a derp. Good stuff right there. GM Sin on the task with forgetting how to play. Goodness. All right. Well, better late than never. Yeah, because I did all. <laughs> I did the line changes for my AHL. But obviously, when I go and make roster changes, you can't go back in and have them apply <laughs> to. Uh, um, to your old franchise, you have to restart it, so, <laughs> fucking hell, oh, 
Good stuff. Finding out all this kind of junk. Okay, well, at least we kind of found it out now. Jesus. Good stuff right there. It's always one thing. I always screw one thing up, especially in the first year. Getting, uh, getting used to the new offices. The new digs, man. <laughs> all right, 21, 31, and 4. It's not the biggest deal. They're just top sixes, but still. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little min-maxer, so I get mad at myself for things like that. When I forget little uh, tiny details that could maybe help to grow my guys. Although we have seen in our Seattle one, guys are growing when they're scratched. Which is uh, pretty impressive when you think about it. Very impressive. Alright, what the hell? A couple wins right there. We're scoring a decent chunk here. No, I want... Stop trying to take my Wilson. Lego my Wilson. Alright, interesting month right there. We actually did kind of good. Yeah, I'm very surprised at how good we did. Honestly. So what was it? We had, well, more good from a goal scoring standpoint. That was kind of my point here. Four goals in that game. Four goals in that game. Three goals. Three goals. Two goals and a win. Three goals. Four goals. Four goals and a win. Three goals. Three goals and a win. Like, win-loss might not have been the greatest, obviously. But we're not the greatest of teams. But the scoring was good. And that's what exactly what we want to see. Jack Eichel, he's not going to be a point-of-game guy, but, I mean, he's going to be a 30-goal scorer, 30-assist guy. So, yeah, I'm cool with that. He might, might, might even get 70 points, like 35-35. He's, he's, got, yeah, he's got some time to do it. I don't think he's getting 11. Yeah, I don't know if he's getting that many. <laughs> or, sorry, 9 and 8. Yeah, my math, right? I'm just, I'm, yeah. Early. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. It's early. Yeah, the U Haul is coming today, though, so I got to get this shit done. Anyway, team stats here. Still down here. Goals for per game 2.61. See, I did jump up again. These other teams are way worse than us. So I don't know if we're going to have the greatest shot at that first overall, but hey. Not everything's meant to be. 15.4 power play percentage. So that went up. It was like 12% last time. So that did go up. We'll have to check. On middle stat, but it seemed like our team overall did better. We'll have to see if middle stat maybe made his jump up there. He's got 22 points. Not really, but I might as well kind of leave him there. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can also chime in on that. Maybe I should I just leave uh and just leave middle stat on that second line. But we are. I'm very happy with the growth that we've gotten. Uh, Reinhardt should get himself a 50 point year, so it's not too bad. And he's now officially a first liner and he's jumped up there and he's should be jumping up in points too. Ocpozo likely not going to be a 50 point scorer. He needs 11 points in 20 games unless he goes on a fat tear. Don't foresee that being a thing. And then everything else goal scoring is very weak. Dolan still only two points on the power play. Rough. Well, that's okay. Ristolainen's beating him in points. Wrecked. How close is Skinner from over to... <laughs> oh, Skinner! He's out to ruin everyone's predictions. GG, man. <laughs> well, most people predictions. I think I saw a few other uh, guesses. Oh, God. Both of our goalies are trash. <laughs> Especially you, Allmark. He's only 80 overall still. I don't know if, again, I don't know if he'll grow that much more. That's why I gave him, like, high starter potential, because he was already 25. Yeah, I mean, he might. He might get up to, like, 81, 82 now, but I don't see him getting too much better than that. Could happen, but usually they're not growing too much around age of 25. They're kind of more settled in. Well, yeah. Not the greatest point production team yet hopefully our growth can kind of make up for that eichel is up to an 89 now so that's very good uh eichel grew a really good chunk there passing's at 92 wish that awareness got up a bit higher but deking hand eye puck control is all good uh his shot's very good um you know what that's that's kind of good is i wish his awareness got up a bit more but shot blocking and stick checking growing a bit makes him put hopefully that those face-offs will improve too 
Still a solid skater. Aggressive this and body checking and fighting skill went up. What the hell? Even in, hitting the gym, doing some uh, weightlifting or something. Uh, was that more than I thought? I mean, I just checked the stats, so it's hard to say, but... Uh, Reinhardt's turning into a nifty little player there. Good defense to him as well. Good shot. Not the strongest of skaters. Well, that's all right. Middle stat now with eight. I think that was at six before. Or maybe it was at eight the whole time. Might have been at eight the whole time. Thought it was at six. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of Dolan with the six. Tage Thompson also has a slight amount. Yeah. Not really to anything that you really need. And Dolan. Slowly but surely, he will get better. Don't worry. He, he usually grows slow in the beginning because of how high of him. Overall, he starts at such a young age. That's kind of what I've noticed. He will he will still get up to that 90 overall. Okay, in the system here. This pet car guy's got up. Locks it in. Nylander's at a 77 now, so he's still growing just fine as a low elite. 77 overall here. Not the greatest of production. Well, hmm. so offensive stats aren't incredible. Well, they're good for the AHL, so what's the issue with that? Hmm. Not too sure. All right, this ghoul guy. Grown still slightly. I do like his defense. 84s across the board at 77 overall is pretty solid. Yeah. I do like that. So that's good. A lot of our uh, sort of main prospects are growing. Guys who definitely have a shot to be in the NHL are growing. And that's kind of all we can hope for with what we started with eh, here. Of course, it'd be nice, but Larson's 26. That ain't happening. Asplund would have been good, too. He's young enough to kind of get some of that growth. But, yeah. All right, well, now we start thinking about the trades. And now is the time. And also probably some extensions, too. You know what? Let's take a look at that first. Because some sometimes they ch I usually don't change your mind, but sometimes I do. No. Skinner just still don't, doesn't want to be resigned. But like I said, if we really... Oh, my goodness. We can get him on an even better deal. We can get him for six mil for eight years or something like that if we really want to take him out until he's 34 or go to seven and do something even lower than that. What the heck? This is a we can get a seven by six deal for this guy probably. That'll take him up till he's 33. That's kind of crazy. We could probably get that. I, I think there's a very good chance we get something like that for Skinner. It might have to be a little bit more, but we can offer him different things. Ah. At this point, I'm kind of like, no, let's not trade him because he could be a solid a solid winger for us to kind of play anywhere. He's been a good sport. He's producing good on the first line. Can likely also play a second line down the road, though, once we start getting better players. So, it's kind of a good player to have. Palmanville. I think we could ship off Palmanville here at the deadline. I think that's a guy we could ship off. Might have to retain, but we can easily retain on salary. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But maybe we want to ship off Skinner, too, and not extend him. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. But I definitely think Palmanville should be a guy to get out of there. 36 years old. Give him a chance to to be on a cup contender, and we'll pick up a pick or something for him. Uh, Goaltender-wise, Hutton signed for a few more years. Uh, Omar isn't. He wants an extension, so we could sign him to an extension if we wanted. He wants, like, a one-year extension. We could do, like, a two-year or something like that and get him for, like... 135 or something like that it's pretty solid he'd be a good backup for that amount of time not a, he's not amazing but I, I still want to give him a chance to take him up till he's completely done growing just to see what he's going to be so i'm just going to offer that to him right now and other than that all we really have to worry about is that i think even though he wants he's 36 man i think we should probably give up palmanville but let's see what kind of value he has what kind of pick would be even be getting if we uh 
coughed up Palmonville. And do remember, we do have the limit. So right now we have 10 draft picks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So is our limit going to be 12 or 14? I've seen both, and those were the two most. So I kind of like 12 because it's a lot less, and it'll make me have to really do good scouting and really kind of pick all the guys I want. Or should it be 14, which is a bit more. It's just a bit more. And uh, for the round limits, I don't know. We don't have to really address that right. Well, we can if we do. We can. But I mean, the later rounds really doesn't matter. Like if you have so many, maybe we should just limit it for like the first, second, and third rounds. Say like in the future, we can only have two of those each. Like two firsts, two seconds, two thirds, or something. That can be a thing that we do in the future. But uh, I think for the limit, I think we should do a, a limit of draft pick total like twelve. But if you guys want fourteen, let me know because that's sort of important because. Going into the draft, we can always have that many. We can only have that many. So the the trades I make here will dictate what I get back. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check out Palmonville's actual value here. What could we get back for Palmonville? Mm, probably a third, maybe a late second. On proposal, same kind of deal. We're not going to get too much back for him. And again, I we can try. If if you guys want me to try to get his contract out of here, I can try. But I I, I can almost promise you that no one's going to want to take it on. Tried to have this guy help our team out, but he doesn't seem to uh, <laughs> be doing much of that. Yeah. Shiri has got two years left. We could meet, we could ship him out next year. Yeah. But Paul Minville, I think we should definitely move. And do we move Skinner? That's another thing. Is Skinner a guy we should move? Gergensons, etc. I mean, obviously, we can also trade Hutton, too. I mean, doesn't have much on him. And he's got three years left on a pretty okay deal, but... I mean, do we want that guy as our goalie? Can we maybe find someone better in free agency? Do we want to grab as many assets as we can for this draft? So, yeah, I'm going to need uh, need some help on that one for sure. Who do we want to trade here and for what assets, guys? Because this is going to be an important draft. I don't know where we're going to rank, but we do have three picks here. And San Jose is looking like they're dropping out of the playoffs. St. Louis looked like they were at the beginning. But you know what? Let's check the standings because this could be interesting. This could actually be interesting. We could be having a couple chances for lottery here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they're, well, they're four points out right now, but they're not doing too hot. Uh, St. Louis is pretty secure in there right now, yeah. They were doing bad at the beginning, but they're pretty secure in there. And, of course, our pick is, we're not going to get up there. We're in the trashy Atlantic. Well, very good at the top, very weak at the bottom. <laughs> but, yeah, Sharks pick is going to look decent not amazing but it should be decent as long as they miss the playoffs maybe around 10 10 10th, 10th overall that's what i'm hoping for out of that but yeah which guys do we trade here and do we sign skinner i i'm kind of torn on it at the one hand it would be he could get a decent chunk of value back like a first from next year or something like that at the same time though that contract is very good that we could offer him for kind of what he brings to the table. Like around 6 mil for like 7 years. He could play first or second line with a contract like that. And not hurt your salary. And that contract just gets better as he as it goes. And Jeff Skinner stays around that 85 overall. Until he's about 33. So it's kind of like the perfect contract. The way I see it. But maybe we can give him a few less years. To then be able to reassess and maybe ship off. But I mean it's still be, it'll be a tradable contract no matter what. It just won't be a rental contract. So... I'm cool with either way, honestly, but uh, I'll definitely leave that up to you guys. And uh, I think that's kind of it. We can again, we could probably we could try to trade Ocpozo. I think we might. I don't know when he's going to start declining, but he's really doing poorly, and it, he's not going to get any statistical growth. I don't know if there'll be a any sort of situation where he's able to get statistical growth. But I think Palmonville's got to be shipped out. We could even move back, you know, 
figure out a new line and we might have to pick some guys or call some guys up from the AHL, but we'll make it work at the end here. If we, especially if we ship off Palmerville and knock Pozo, or even if we ship off Skinner too, I mean, damn, but at this point, we're not going to make our record too much worse to really tank any harder. So if we want to think a bit long-term, I think Skinner might be a guy we want to keep around for a bit longer. He's smacking his prime. He could really help out Eichel. But Ocpozo, Pominville, on the other hand, Pominville's 36. Let's give him a chance to win. Ocpozo is on a shitty contract, which if we can move, we definitely want to. But 6x5 at 83 overall, that might be difficult to move. And I'm not going to retain on that. Not for that long. Hell no. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, that kind of covers pretty much everything, guys. So, growth has been good. We've got some solid growth from our core. Solid growth from our young guns down in the uh, minors and things like that. Or juniors, anywhere they are. And now we approach the deadline. And we could stock up on a few more assets. So let me know if you think the draft pick limit per year should be 12 or 14. And if there should be, you know, a, a number limit on the, uh, you know, first, second, and third. Or if we just, just keep it simple and make an overall draft limit, uh, you know, between 12 and 14. And obviously, I won't go, like, over the top and get, like, 12 first-round picks. That would be too silly. I'll, you guys can trust me. I, you, I probably won't even get more than three for any year. But if you want that restriction, then I can't get any more than two. All right, guys. So that kind of covers everything. So, okay. Trade deadline here. What do we move? Pominville, Ocpozo, Skinner, or do we resign Skinner and only move Pominville and Ocpozo? At least try to move Ocpozo's contract. Okay, guys, that covers it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one. Watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you. Be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.